What's up everybody? This is Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Um, we're going to jump back into uh, Trade Service Live, uh, Trimble's Database, and Acubit Classic. Um, what I didn't get to go over before is um, an, um, a feature in Trade Services called Link Export. So what this does is you're able to grab the exact item the name the UPC number I mean I'm sorry the price code everything in there and then you can either um, cop uh, it's not a copy but you can paste it directly into a accurate file or take it right back into your database and and so if you know in our previous tutorial we were talking about uh, price codes you know copying things putting price codes this is I would say this is the the correct way to do it when you want to do your database that way the manufacturer and the, and the catalog numbers are are all there for you for you can see so we're gonna we're gonna jump into this and I'm gonna show you how this is done okay so I already searched something up it's uh, a wire mold box for gang it's I, I believe it has some HDMI um, you could put a bunch of different things in here or a couple of receptacles uh, RJ 45 jacks so in order to, to make this work we have to click this item and what happens is your cart up here turns from zero to whatever quantities you pick so just to go back it's zero click one now it goes to one so you select the cart and you're gonna have these couple options here we're gonna hit send to and then you're now you're gonna see a list of these items link export is the one we want to do it's a dot uh, ts lnkexp file um it's something custom to uh, trimble itself and as you can see on the bottom i already downloaded this a few times so we're still gonna do it show you how it works so we're gonna hit link export so it's gonna retrieve that item let it download we're gonna click this and show them the locations so you see I already downloaded this uh, once before. I'm going to delete this other one so we're not confused. All you have to do is double click it and this will appear. It basically copies this content and this special file. And it, it, it's basically on a clipboard so Acubid can recognize it when you paste it. So you can do this in, in, in two different programs. We're going to jump to the uh, Acubid you can paste this directly in a temporary item and use it so how you do that is you go to edit paste and there's your wire mold box it's the exact same description that the manufacturers are going to have in file for it so if i click um let me turn off live count really quick that's a habit so if i click this this is going to open wire mold box for game wild box I'm gonna hit OK. If we go in here, it copied everything over. The only thing it doesn't do because your base, your your base labor, is going to be um, competitive. So it doesn't it doesn't bring over any kind of labor. You have to kind of put that in for yourself. But it does give you the manufacturer name the catalog number and the price code which this is a real cool feature because what I was doing before I was just you know copying the price codes because it is the most important thing but like I was saying in the previous tutorial it's good to have this stuff in here too so when you do your your supplier exchange and it brings everything over it brings all this information to here so if anything changes at least it'll kind of stick out when you're kind of reviewing your extension uh, so this is one way to do it now let's say we want to put this in our database now so what we can do is let's open up our database and I am going to close this out so I can get in here I'm gonna search put my database and then I'm going to open up the Nika. Okay. 
So now we have to pick a location. So we're going to say this is going to be in devices. And then we'll just say it's in straight blade and receptacles. And we're just going to call it, uh, we'll go put receptacle specialty. So we want to put this in here now. You can actually click one of these, hit edit, paste, and it drops it in there. Catalog number and all. So if you look on this side, the exact description, here's your, you're going to be your average market price, what it's selling for. Uh, don't worry about the price when you do your supplier exchange and it grabs it, it'll grab the up-to-date pricing for it. Um, there's your price code, uh, price factors one, and it's, it's selling it um, each, so it's per one. And then as you notice right here, your labor columns and all that is just empty. So any kind of specialty item or if you want to make your own custom items, you can put these labor rates in here. So just make sure you do that. Um, if you want to put your sort codes, anything like this. So if we swing over, you can start changing stuff too because if you want this found in your description, you know, you're going to want to put this as wire system and devices, wherever this is going to be at which I'm not, there you go. Um, sort code, if you got a sort code, put sort codes in there. So you get the gist. This is, um, I would say, a better method of doing what I was showing you guys before on just putting price code and copying things in there, but it, it can work either way. It, it's a great option. Um, I'm going to jump back into trade services really quick. Okay. So, if you receive an error, it's not really an error, it's like a, a, a dialog box will pop up and say, we don't, you don't have a template, uh, please create one, and if you press it, it doesn't do nothing. It, it just reloads the home screen. For me, I kept doing it, I had to do a little research really quick. Um, there's two things that you have to do, and one is the template. It, it's... I, I don't know why there's a template, but you have to create something for yourself. So what you need to do is you need to go to where it's the, uh, your profile and you want to hit settings. There's an option up here called link export. Uh, I already created one. So you have to cr actually create one first before you're able to do this. And uh, there is one thing that I didn't check to see if it works but um uh, not that it works but it if you need this or not but i download it anyway if you go to your left side of your screen there's a download button and there's these all these options you can do if you want to use like a supplier exchange standalone a desktop link uh, there is a bridge option here um i don't I'm not aware if, if you need this or not, but I downloaded it anyway because I thought that was the fix and it wasn't. And then I went to the profile and found that and then you had to create a template and then it worked. But I think you do need this because that I, I, it doesn't really recognize that that TSP uh, EXP LNK link uh, extension file. So, I, I mean, it's no biggie. I just download it. It's not that big and just use it. Um, so if you guys are using trade service live there um there is the older version which is switched to classic and i'm gonna see if this still works it, it kind of just pick other they kind of want to know why you're switching over and i guess it's more of like feedback for the uh the website design and i believe every time sometimes you you log out and you have to log back in um, it, it's a little bit dumbed down version. I'm used to this because when I used to use this years and years ago, it just looked like this. Um, so if you want to do the link export using the older uh, classic view, just sl um, search the item itself. Uh, it is a lot slower. On my end, I, I, I don't know why. Maybe because it's not supported. So you have your one box. We found it. If you go up here, it's just a lot simpler. So you have an export, link export, and QuickBooks. You click this. It does the exact same thing. That file shows up on the bottom. 
um yeah and, and, and that's it so it's a really cool thing to have um if, if you need to find something really quick and you want the exact name and you could throw it right in your estimate and then later open up the database save it in there then you never have to worry about doing this again uh so again this is alfred flores ceo president of new electric uh thank you for watching and hope to see you guys soon